Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in the normal incidence of a uniform plane wave on a perfect dielectric. Before going to solve the problem, let's discuss the basics of this normal incidence and important formulas. So here we can consider two media with different parameters. So when the signal is incident normally on this interface, part of the signal is transmitted and part of the signal is reflected back. For a perfect dielectric medium, the conductivity is 0 and its relative permeability is equal to mu naught value. Okay. So next, the intrinsic impedance. So for the first medium, eta 1 is equal to the ratio of incident electric field to the magnetic field. For the second medium, eta 2 is equal to transmitted electric field to the transmitted magnetic field. Here one more wave is there that is a reflector electric field. So here we can have eta 1 with the sign minus which represents the reflected wave. So eta 1 is equal to minus er by hr. Okay. Then the total transmitted magnetic field is the sum of incident and reflected fields okay similarly here it is equal to ei plus er okay so these two formulas are very important one here that is reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient okay so reflection coefficient is equal to the ratio of er to ei so it can also be represented as eta 2 minus eta 1 by eta 1 plus eta 2 so directly we can relate this a reflected electric field is equal to eta 2 minus eta 1. The incident electric field is equal to eta 1 plus eta 2. Okay. So in terms of permittivity, we can write the same equation as square root of epsilon 1 minus square root of epsilon 2 divided by square root of epsilon 1 plus epsilon 2. Okay. So similarly we can have for magnetic field but here in the numerator we can have the difference value that is eta 1 minus eta 2 okay so this reflection coefficient formula is very important similarly the transmission coefficient that means the ratio of the transmitted electric field to the incident field so it can also be represented as 2 eta 2 by eta 1 plus eta 2 for the magnetic field, we can have the ratio HT by H1. So in this one, in the numerator, we can have 2 into eta 1 by eta 1 plus eta 2. So we are going to use these two formulas to find out the values of ET, HT, ER and HR. Do you all understand this one? Let's solve the first problem. An electromagnetic wave traveling in a free space impinges normally on the dielectric medium with epsilon r is equal to 4. Calculate the transmission coefficient and reflection coefficient of the interface. So in this problem only the epsilon r value is given. But at the same time the another medium as a free space medium. So here we can consider one medium as a free space. So here mu r is equal to epsilon r is equal to 1. So in the second medium, they haven't given any sigma value. So simply we can consider sigma is equal to 0. That means the second medium as a perfect dielectric. So in this case we can consider mu r is equal to 1. Epsilon r is equal to the given value 4. Do you all understand this one? So first we are going to find out eta 1 and eta 2 values for free space mu r is equal to epsilon r is equal to 1 then eta 1 is equal to square root of mu naught by epsilon naught. So mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 epsilon naught value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 then the answer is 120 pi or 377 ohm. So this is the intrinsic impedance for free space medium. So next we are going to find out intrinsic impedance for the second medium that is dielectric medium. So here eta 2 is equal to 
for perfect dielectric the mu r value is equal to 1 so here we can represent square root of mu naught divided by epsilon naught into epsilon r so 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by epsilon naught value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 into 4 then we can simplify this term using calculator we can get the eta 2 value as 188.367 ohm okay so now we have obtained eta 1 and eta 2 so next we are going to find out the transmission coefficient so what is the formula for transmission coefficient dou is equal to 2 eta 2 by eta 1 plus eta 2 so it can also be represented as et by ei so we can simply substitute eta 2 value here and eta 1 value here okay then the answer is 0 0.6664 okay then we can write the transmission coefficient dou e is equal to 0 0.6664 so next a reflection coefficient gamma is equal to er by ei that is equal to eta 2 minus eta 1 by eta 2 plus eta 1 so 188.367 minus 377 divided by 188.367 plus 377. Then the answer is the reflection coefficient is equal to minus 0 0.3336. So we have obtained the transmission coefficient and a reflection coefficient. Okay. So the next problem is very important one. So here we are going to determine the amplitudes of a reflected and transmitted fields at the interface of two regions. So we are going to determine the reflected and transmitted fields at the interface of two regions. The first region is having the values EI that is incident electric field magnitude is 1.5 millivolt per meter epsilon r1 is equal to 8.5 mu r is equal to 1 and sigma is equal to 0 sigma is equal to 0 means it is a perfect dielectric okay so the second region is a free space region so in the solution part first we have to write the given data so here the region 1 is a perfect dielectric region 2 is a free space ea value is given epsilon r1 and mu r1 values are given so we are going to find out the reflected electric field the transmitted electric field the reflected magnetic field as well as the transmitted magnetic field okay so first we are going to find out the intrinsic impedance for the region 1 and region 2 from that we can find out the transmission coefficient and reflection coefficient so first intrinsic impedance for the region 1 eta 1 is equal to square root of mu by epsilon that can be written as mu naught mu r1 by epsilon naught epsilon r1 so here mu r1 is 1 so we can write 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 epsilon r1 is 8.5 then we can get the answer 129.5 to 2 ohm okay so the second one is eta 2 it is for free space for free space the intrinsic impedance value is 377 ohm so now we have calculated eta 1 and eta 2 so next we are going to find out the transmission coefficient so here dou e is equal to et by ei that is the ratio of transmitted electric field to the incident electric field is equal to 2 eta 2 by eta 1 plus eta 2 we can simply substitute the values of eta 1 and eta 2 in this formula to get the ratio et by ei okay so now we have obtained the answer as 1.4895 so then we are going to find out this transmitted electric field by moving this incident electric field to this side so next we are going to substitute the value of this ei what is the value of ei 1.5 millivolt per meter so milli means 10 to the power minus 3 okay 
then the transmitted electric field is equal to 2.234 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt per meter. Do you all understand this concept? Next, we are going to find out the reflection coefficient. So, reflection coefficient is the ratio of a reflected electric field to the incident electric field that is also equal to eta 2 minus eta 1 by eta 2 plus eta 1. Substitute the values of eta 2 and eta 1 in this formula. Then we can get the answer 0 0.4895. So that is equal to the ratio of ER to EI. Then we can find out the value of this reflected electric field by moving this EI to this side. So here EI is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. Then the reflected electric field is equal to 0 0.4895. 7343 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt per meter. Now we have obtained the electric fields in this interface. Incident electric field, transmitted electric field and the reflected electric field. So from this we can find out the values of magnetic fields. So here the relation between electric field and magnetic field is what? The intrinsic impedance is equal to the ratio of electric field to magnetic field. So this is the standard formula. So if we want to find out the transmitted magnetic field then we can take the ratio Et by eta 2. So transmitted means it is transmitting to the second medium. So here we can take the second medium value. Okay. Substitute this Et value and eta 2 value in this formula then we can get the answer as HT is equal to 5.926 into 10 to the power minus 6 amps per meter. It can also be written as 5.926 micro amps per meter. 10 to the power minus 6 means micro. Okay. So similarly we can find out the uh, reflected magnetic field. But for this reflected magnetic field we can take the minus sign. Because the signal is uh, reflected back to the incident signal. So here we can have minus eta 1 in the first medium. Okay. So here HR is equal to minus ER by eta 1. Substitute all the values here. Finally we can get the reflected magnetic field is equal to minus 5.681 into 10 to the power minus 6 amps per meter. You all understand this?